Velma from Chris Family Farm Sewing and Crafts. And I'm David from Chris Family Farm Sewing and Crafts. And that's Frankie from Sewing and Crafts. <laughs> and Dixie is on my lap, like always. Um, so David's making fun of me <laughs> because I was checking my Instagram um, notifications and I posted a video, or not a video, but a picture of the garden planner um, that I ordered from Baker Creek. Um, so, and they liked my picture, and I, like, totally geeked out on it, and I was like, oh my gosh, Baker Creek liked my picture! And David's looking at me like I'm a moron, and... I just got like, sorry, Frankie is like moving everywhere. I just got super excited. On me. Um, I know it's kind of stupid, but it just made me feel good. I've been dealing with um, anxiety and stuff today and dealing with my emotions. So I've been in a lot of pain for the past few days. Uh, I think it has to do with where we unloaded the gravel um so I'm just I'm hurting and it flared up my uh, idromidiosis so if you know what that is then you probably know where I'm coming from um and then I have like neuropathy and you know stuff like that too so I've just been really down today and I've was looking at my seeds and reading my seed packets and trying to get an idea on when I want to plant things and start the seeds and I walked around outside for a little while to figure out you know how many more cattle panels I need to do the uh, I think it's vertical growing where you grow it on the cow panels the vines go up because I'm wanting to do my loofahs and my cucumbers and then last year we tied our tomatoes to cattle panel as well because we had just a whole 16 foot of tomatoes and I think we had what two rows of tomatoes like that mm -hmm. I think so so most of them were um the the sunrise bumble like the cherry tomatoes from Baker Creek um didn't know what I was getting myself into and I planted way too many but it was good because nothing went to waste the chickens ate it me and Frankie pick out on them all day because I brought in bowls of you know cherry tomatoes it was later part of the year or the growing season because we when I say we I mean me I started my seeds late and I had no clue what I was doing so, I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to look. So, I like my camera's like right there. <laughs> so, I kind of training myself to look at the cam the little camera. I'm sorry, I'm still new at this. And, um, so this year I'm trying to get a better understanding on where and when to grow the seeds. And,. How I'm going to do my garden this year. Did you just lick me? Oops. It's nasty. <laughs> Ew. Teenage boys, man. I'm telling you. They're so weird. I draw. And then there's Frankie. Don't go this way. <laughs> you cannot get down this way. What up? Here I oh, let me, Give me a second. <laughs> he is like clingy for some reason. I think he knows I'm not feeling well. Um, so, what I was saying was, I want to have a bigger garden, and I want to, um, have, I like, I learned a lot from last year. Like, I learned, I started my seeds late. I learned that, um, I can grow more um, and trying to work around the space that we have, um, to work with. We have space up on the hill, 
Um, but I don't really want to go all the way up there because um, we still have a lot to clean on the hill. So I'm trying to keep everything down here. And right now, originally, where my mother-in-law had her garden is where we're living. So where the camper is and where my building is, or the stone building, and this back area, I'm keep like y'all can see what I'm looking at. This back area um, where we're currently at is where she had her garden. So that means we're having to figure out other places for garden. Last year we had the garden back over this way and um, by the well house. So if you've seen previous videos, you see the space that I have to work with. So I'm trying to have better understanding of what I want to grow. And David's wanting to grow uh, his sunflowers. So there's a lot of learning going on and um it's just one of those moments where I was having a bad day and somebody you know it it made me feel good that I like Baker Creek liked one of my pictures I don't know if that's just me or if other people do that David makes fun of me because I talk to my seeds and stuff, like my plants that I do grow. So, him and Russ kind of make fun, don't you? Sometimes. Sometimes. But, um, with this calendar, they, it came with a paper to kind to, like, give you an estimate on where... I have the fall side. I didn't even see the spring. Um, to where it gives you a better understanding on where to grow your your seeds or when to start your seeds. And then I really like this because on this blue side, so like, um, let it focus. It tells you, it gives you a list of things that are, uh, what is it called, companions, um, which I'm still learning that. So, um, so tomatoes are good for like carrots, cucumbers, onions, and peas. Um, it tells you national companion plant near each other. So you can plant those close to each other and that that would it would be fine. I'm assuming uh if you guys don't have one of these calendars um especially if you're a beginner like me, I think it'll be helpful and very useful and it has the instructions and information on it. So it was just pretty cool you know I'm pretty cool about I'm not pretty cool but you know <laughs> Baker Creek's pretty cool for liking my picture it made me feel awesome I know I keep saying that over and over <laughs> but psycho. I'm not a psycho <laughs> wait a bit but it to when I, I like people like me that have a learning disability or dyslexia or have issues understanding stuff this is pretty easy to for me to under like it took me a minute but it's pretty it was pretty easy to I caught on pretty quick basically so it's got a list of vegetables on this side both sides I thought so it's got a list of vegetables and then you put the red line which is this on your estimated frost date it's got numbers up here so my estimated frost date was like april 20th and then when i googled my estimated frost date it was may 30th first or may 3rd something like that so i've just picked like april 26th it's kind of like in between 
the two days. So, um, and then it gives you, it breaks it down to where, uh, when you can plant it and stuff. So, like, um, tomatoes are estimated to start indoors around, like, March 29th. It just helps you, um, and not that you have to start it on that day, but I think it gives you a general idea on when to start and what to start on, like, an ideal level, like, on this week. So, and it doesn't have every day of the week on here. It's just got, like, the, the four weeks or five weeks of the month. So, it's got, like... May and it goes all the way or from January all the way to December and then this the words over here in the blue are plants that you can do companion planting so it gives you an idea of what you can plant next to um I'm reference tomatoes because I, I like tomatoes um so for tomatoes you can plant carrots, cucumbers, onions, and peas. Or did I read that wrong? Hang on here. Yeah, that's carrots, cucumbers, onions, and peas are good companion plants for those. I'm not don't know a lot about companion plants I'm just like this is my second year doing a garden and this is what I've learned so if you're a beginner like me um, I would recommend this because to be honest I've had a little bit of anxiety trying to um, figure this out like I don't want to start them too late again and not get a good harvest and I don't want to start them too early to where um, they're going to be too big to put in the ground. So, I mean, some of my stuff is going to go into buckets because um, the back part of the garden, closer to where the ducks are now, that floods. So, I want to have, uh, Russ has been getting buckets and stuff from his job that are free. And who can't use a free bucket? I mean, come on, they're free. They have icing in them, so we have to clean them out and sterilize them and stuff. But we can drill holes in those and then I can do container gardening, which I've done that before. We had an old mop bucket. My neighbor ran over and had a big old crack in it. And I grew tomatoes in, in that and it they were awesome. and walked out on the tour and they were there. So it was just something that was an accident. She accidentally ran over it. So, I was like, well, I'm not going to throw this away. I can probably put this to use. And it, the tomatoes turned out, they taste just as good as the ones that was in the ground garden. So, and I have one raised bed that Russ got done. It's not very deep. Would that make it like nine inches? Nine or ten inches deep. And it's pretty long. And it took... I want to say 10 or 20 bags of topsoil to fill it up. So, I didn't do very good with that last year. Um, sure. We raked up all the dirt. We loaded up in the wheelbarrow or the wagon. And we moved the raised bed and <coughs> let them out. And the dirt over to a different part of the yard because we took down the fence. And made the our main yard, which is fenced in to keep Frankie in and supposed to keep Dixie in. But no, they have to jump but it. Frankie's jumping the gate in the front. And Dixie's finding holes to get out, so we still have to work on that. Um, but for the most part, I have to put Frankie on a chain. If I'm in the yard or in the house, he doesn't normally jump it. Um... And he hasn't jumped the cattle panels because we have two cattle panels in the back. He has not jumped those that I know of. 
but he has jumped the front gate the yellow gate if you guys looked at the previous videos he jumps that a lot um he's a kangaroo he's not a kangaroo <laughs> oh you're right he's a kangaroo dog i'm probably not gonna post this video today today is wednesday today is wednesday isn't it no today's wednesday <laughs> this kid i'm telling you so I'm not. I'm gonna probably post this tomorrow. I have to go to town tomorrow, Friday. which is Thursday, and take my mother-in-law to Lowe's. We have to get a new washer, and um, let's see what else. Gotta go to. Maybe I'll do another video tomorrow, but I can't always do videos every day, um, because of our internet. We Just have HughesNet, and our our internet is. It just sucks. Um, just to put it straight to you, it, it's crappy internet. We don't have a lot of data on it. It doesn't last all month. Like it gets, I mean, it lasts all month, but it like super fast at the first of the month, and then it just like dies out and goes really, really slow. You gotta so, pull up. Gotta um, that's why i haven't posted a video of that and i've not been feeling good so i haven't really done nothing i was planning on going to my building and doing a video on a Sorry. sewing project but i just i'm just taking it easy trying to deal with the pain um watering and feeding the animals is basically what i'm doing and um tonight we caught Mr. Red, which that's one of the roosters that we are talking about butchering. This will be my first butcher. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm kind of nervous about it. You look like you're basic right now. No, I'm really nervous about it because I've never butchered an animal that I raised. Now, I have had animal like eight rabbit. I've ate... Yeah. cattle but I've not I didn't really raise those I mean I helped my mother-in-law feed like bottle feed her okay. cattle but those were hers they weren't mine so this is my chicken and I'm the one that's seeing it every day so it's just a new experience I'm kind of excited nervous and scared about a lot of emotions are going into that but we caught him today and then we caught the other hand roadrunner today and we have them in with the ducks. So. Because they were uh, roosting on Margaret's porch. And they left droppings on her porch. So David will be cleaning off the porch tomorrow. Um, for his mammal. And. So I, I don't know. I'm going to try to get to a schedule. I don't know how that's going to work out. I don't know how many videos I'll be able to post a week. But I'm going to try to do a vlog or something at least once or twice a week. I'm going to try it. I want to commit to better video and YouTube. So, with this garden planner, um, I'd recommend it. Rec you wow. Recommend. My eyes like whoo look at it. Um, I would recommend it to a beginner gardener, a beginner. Um and I will try to find um I'll try to figure out I don't know if I can, but I did get this from Baker Creek. Um so I'll try to link it down at the bottom and um so you guys can try to get one. And it's pretty cool because it's made in the U.S. So that's pretty cool. That's first. Um, trying to think. Dixie out there having a heyday. Um, let's see what else. David's goal. So you guys, we... Um, appreciate everybody that has uh, subscribed the new subscribers thank you we appreciate that 
and he still wants to reach his goal to 140 subscribers before his birthday and he uh, he's wanting to get geese so I don't know how that's gonna work right now because um, he's trying to earn money to get them but I don't know how that's gonna work right now because they're really expensive and we're on a really tight budget so we will um, see how that plays out but at least we can kind of reach his goal of getting 140 subscribers I would ultimately like to reach like at least 500 by the end of the year um, if not it's okay um, the main reason of my videos and my YouTube channel is to let people know that have you know problems dyslexia and learning disabilities and reading and you know the pain and stuff and like I'm blind like the octave nerve never formed so that's why I'm, I'm looking extremely cross-sighted because I cannot see out of the right eye and I just want to let people other people know that um, if I could do it then you can do it uh, if you want to I mean you don't have to uh, it's it's to. something fun. I like sewing. I like doing my crafts. I like um I didn't think I would like gardening because I get really sick in the heat. But I've kind of like taught myself to get up earlier instead of later and do things that way. Um because I tried to avoid the heat as much as possible. Um because I, I get it triggers migraines. It is just heat is not my friend. It is your mean friend. My enemy for forever. Friend so, me. Friend of me. Friend of me. Yeah. Um. Cause you need. If you guys don't already know, we have a Facebook page, and we have a Instagram page, and the Instagram page is where Baker Creek liked my picture, so that was pretty cool. Um, we're, see you on the next one, and God bless, so bye. Bye.